This weekend, Shaw Air Force Base is opening its doors to the public for a show that hasn't come to town in six years. News 19's Peyton Lewis went to the Air Force Base to welcome the Thunderbirds and find out what people can expect for this weekend's Air and Space Show. This year, it's an incredible air show. We've actually made things lower to the ground and faster and louder, all while being even safer than it was before. For the first time in six years, the Thunderbirds are landing at Shaw Air Force Base and bringing some familiar faces with them. Captain Travis Grindstaff was stationed at Shaw for four years and says he's happy to be back and to be a part of the air and space show. It's incredibly nostalgic. I mean, the 79th Fighter Squadron in Shaw Air Force Base is where I grew up. They made me who I am today, and now I get to come back as part of Thunderbirds and show off the pride, precision, professionalism of our Air Force and everything that they taught me. The show will feature the Thunderbirds, the U.S. Space Force, an F-16 demo pilot, and civilian stunt pilots as well. Vice Wing Commander Kevin Hickok says the base looks forward to welcoming the community this weekend and giving people a better understanding of what the Air Force does. The community here at Sumter is, is very supportive of Shaw. Uh, we have a very tight-knit relationship with the community. Uh, and then also with the entire state of South Carolina. And so we're excited to get the chance to open up the gates and get people a little bit closer to the mission that they support. The base encourages people to bring hearing protection with them for the show as well, because their pilots like it loud. There'll be loud explosives, uh, uh, loud engines, um, but it'll be a good time. Uh, it'll get people the uh, chance to actually feel up close and personal what they kind of hear buzz over top of them every now and then. The base opens for the air and space show on Saturday at 8 a.m and they ask people to get there early and pack their patience for getting through the gates. Reporting in Sumter, Peyton Lewis, News 19, WLTX. The shows run all day Saturday and Sunday and are free to attend.